Good morning, everybody. Planting peppers again today. We're about to load up with water. We had an inch and a half of rain last night, so it's a little muddy out in the field, but we're getting ready to plant these peppers. We have orange bell, yellow bell, bell white, white bell. and purple bell that we're gonna be planting. So all we're doing then is we're getting set up this morning. Tractor's got fuel in it. The boys are ready to go. We had our breakfast. It's gonna be a good day. done filling up now we're gonna head back to the fields so we're doing colored peppers first and this is where they laid plastic yesterday they laid all the way down through here yeah that was Joel it's a little bumpy didn't film it though nope didn't film it I was taking care of something else he was a busy man getting sawdust <laughs> so we're going down here we're starting at the bottom and Ooh. we're starting with the colored peppers Ooh. first and I think I have yellow and Joel's planting a variety called Tinkerbell they're really small pepper so we're about to get started a lot of different varieties here and we only had a couple of tinkerbell so we're gonna just switch There's those up mass the mount boom <laughs> all right we're ready to get started turn the water on because we desperately need it today unleash the crack, crack, crack. <laughs> i've noticed selling plants to people is that a lot of people don't understand that most of your bell peppers for example, if you're planting red bell, yellow, they all start off green. And not many people know that. So when we're selling plants to people, they'll say, oh, I would like red bell, which is perfectly fine. But we have to explain to people, you know, they all basically start green. So these yellow, they're gonna start green and then they'll turn to yellow when they mature. Feel it, Andy, feel it. Looks good, we're in a sea of wheat. We're just checking it out. The heads look nice. It's really good. It's really good. Fancy. Yep, that's gonna make a lot of straw. That's what we look forward to, right, Joel? Stacking I'm straw. Stacking straw. I mean, we enjoy cutting wheat with the combine, but... We don't do that. Part. We don't do that. We we do the straw aspect. We have to go up We're in that operation of the farm. Yep, that's what we do. We don't cut, we don't haul, we stack straw. That's how you know we're expendable. And we plant, <laughs> and we plant peppers. Nobody's expendable, Joel. Lies. Not even you. Boop. Lies. You gotta pick us up, brother. It's a little farther reach, but. All right, ho! We're out of water. Started noticing it. So now that we're out of water, we're heading back to the farm. We're gonna go fill up. Then I don't know. Probably gonna get a few more plants. Just a few. Just a few. We got all these colored peppers to plant, and then we're gonna plant some bell peppers. Some peppers. These be the vanguard. We just finished eating lunch. Now we're loading up with peppers. We're getting some vanguard, which is a bell variety. I think that's all we have left is the green bell. Joel and I are walking up to the top, and then we're gonna fill up with water. We got Megan with us now. She's gonna take care of the trays for us. We're back out here, we're planting. I think we have some more some more colored bell left, and then we're moving on to the green bell. Yellow. Moving on to a variety of bell called Vanguard. We've been raising that for a couple years now. You like Vanguard? I do. Mm -hmm. It's always had really nice peppers for us. Yeah. Trays coming your way, Matt, uh, Megan. She does such a good job up there. She does. It's nice having that extra hand. That's usually when you'll get behind as you're trying to find a place to put the tray. And then we gotta stop the tractor and wait for Andrew to get situated. Because it's my fault. <laughs> And we just loaded up the rest of the peppers. This is it. So we might need to come back one more time and fill up with water for peppers. And then I think Dad wants us to plant some eggplant. So it's not too, too much, but I know we have some black eggplant, some striped eggplant, and some Japanese eggplant that we're 
gonna put in the ground after we're done with these peppers. But we'll have to we'll have to switch back to a single wheel for that. Well, it's that time of the year already. We're on our last tray of bell peppers, and that's it. So I don't know how many we planted today, but we've basically been planting all day. And this is what Joel and I, this has been our job, sitting back here, putting plants in the ground. I mean, it's, it's not hard, but it does get, it does get tiring just sitting here in the sun. But if I look over there, you can see we planted all that today. I hope you can see it. I don't know if you can. Let me turn my head back. There you go. So we've been planting all that today. And then, like I said, all we have left is the eggplant. So we're going to be moving on to that next. I don't know about you guys, but when I look back there and I see all those peppers, it looks pretty satisfying to me. It looks good. I'm, I'm, look at that, guys. And then we have all this empty plastic. This is going to be more tomatoes. And I think the eggplant is going up here on top somewhere. Light oh, light pickles as well. And then I think the eggplant is going right here. And then that's where the pickling cucumbers and the zucchini is going to go over there. So bell peppers are done, hot peppers, sweet peppers. They're all taken care of. Now we're heading back to the farm. We're going to change the wheel out and plant that eggplant. So we had the double wheel on. We just took off one of them, moved that one to the center. And we got different types of eggplant here. Slim. Okay, we want we want black eggplant first. So right. there's the normal purple eggplant you'd buy in the store. So we're gonna do that. We call it it's a variety. It's called black. So we're gonna do black eggplant. Then we have the different varieties to put on. We have striped, white, and some slim eggplant. We got all our eggplant loaded up. We're gonna go get some water. Jill and I are walking to stretch our legs. We're tired of sitting. What's good, veggie boys? Planting some eggplant. Let's put it in the ground. See these rows of turtle polyester? <laughs> it's cornstarch, everybody, I know. Is that what you wanted, Andy? I wanted it before we got there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're getting started with the eggplant now. We're planting black eggplant. Andrew, is the black eggplant black? Oh, it looks like a dark purple. Dark purple. Uh, does it have a different taste? Uh, I'm not really sure. I know it has a strong flavor. I don't eat a lot of eggplant. I, I think eggplant's gross. <laughs> tell them, tell them um, the neat thing about picking them. Got to be careful with them. <laughs> are you making fun of me? I'm talking about the, the, the thorns. I know, but are you making fun of me? Andrew. How would I ever make fun of somebody wearing a camera on their baseball cap? <laughs> the white and the striped eggplant are finished. We got the black finished. And now we're planting some slim eggplant. These are longer and thinner. They have a mild taste to them. So a lot of people like them. I think they're also called like Japanese eggplant. I'm not sure. So we're planting them right now. I don't even know why you thought that was funny. And there you go. We got the plastic planted today. We got a lot of peppers done. We got some eggplant. So now we're getting back to the farm. I think we might even plant some pumpkins now, but we have to wait and see. We just got the pumpkin seed planted up here. It was literally just poking holes in plastic and putting seed in, so I didn't show it. But that's where we're gonna end the video for today, guys. I wanna thank everyone for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye 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 bye